And I'm not gonna lie, if I live somewhere like this, it's literally like a little mini paradise. How are What's you? Up, bro? What's up, bro? What's your name? Hello, boys. How are you? They highly recommend to come to this bit just so you can get that Instagram shot just there. I don't blame them. Like, Mohammed has been tailoring in this such a small shop here for five years. Is that a good deal for a long chain like this? Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of Morocco. And this time we are in Danger. And we're going to go out, explore the city now, show you guys some cool places to check out if you ever come to Tangier, as well as just show you the experience of what it's like actually being here, because this area and city itself is very influenced by Spanish vibes. Isn't that right? Yes, because uh, Gibraltar um, is literally like half an hour away by the boat. So uh, very heavy Spanish influence. So we look forward to check it out. Yeah, so hola and buenos dias. <laughs> and uh, whilst we're here, guys, I'm going to give you guys a little quick tour of this Airbnb we're in. This one is kind of in the heart of the city. We're about 10 minutes away, walk to like, places like the Medina and stuff. And it's very, very nice and spacious. As you can see, we've got the kind of sofa there, we've got a widescreen TV there. Internet is just incredible. And we have a lovely view just down here. Well, not lovely because of construction, but it's a high rise building, so it's quite nice. And also we have the bedroom just here quite cool we've got we've even got some Versace uh, pillows as you can see very nice just want to give you guys a little bit of a quick tour of our Airbnb that we're staying in anyway guys it's time to get this video started I hope you enjoy it stick around till the end so you don't miss out on any of the juicy details let's go this is Morocco with a population of over 37 million people situated in the north of Africa a country full of culture incredible food beautiful architecture and fascinating people, also home to the famous Sahara Desert. Guys, we are now officially in the Medina area and one thing I will say I'm loving all the architecture again in another city here in Morocco it can really feel the I say the Spanish influence here with the Moroccan twist with all the beautiful doors designs buildings it's just really really beautiful <sighs> quite tiring though because we are walking uphill <laughs> so it's good for us because we haven't really hit the gym yeah. as hard as we did in Turkey so <laughs> thank you my friend thank you. Thank where are you from where are you from thank you where come from Porta? Latvia let's keep it very friendly thank, thank you thank you thank you from Medina the old Medina yes nice. here from Medina welcome to Tangier thank, thank you so much brother Tangier is waiting for you to see Tangier from Medina thank Medina. you brother thank we you are, we are looking forward to exploring it oh well, let's yeah. see maybe later come see my show inshallah later 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 later, later. Yeah, let us get the good we need to have some food we are hungry oh hops breakfast uh, coffee center, center here, uh, nice okay. coffee, big coffee, big coffee. Nice coffee. Okay, nice coffee. Okay. The first place, nice place, place. Thank you. All right, well, what's your name? My name is Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. See you later. Center, we have nice, nice food. Shukran. Not just coffee, not just another one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Big side. Thank you so nice. much. You. Great, nice little welcome here from Abdul. He's recommending us some places to eat, but we are very, very hungry. We've not had breakfast, so we're just going to scout this area and see what we can find. Alright guys, so we were recommended to come over here, which is Cafe Central, and it does look like the most popular place in town. Very busy, a lot of expats. So let's go grab our coffee. One thing that's very, very apparent uh, since we've come to Tangier is how cheap things are here. And let me know in the comments, guys, why is it such a vast difference in prices from all the way from Marrakesh, Agadir, and all the other places that we came. I mean, it's so refreshing to finally come to a cafe and be able to grab a coffee for like, you know, like one euro sixty, um, fourteen, one euro forty. So you're looking roughly about no more than one euro, about two euros to get even a special coffee, which is really nice. And even for some breakfast, it's like 
Okay. Omelette, omelette, cheese and turkey is literally two euros. And the reason I'm bringing this up specifically is because we've just been paying some really ridiculous prices around Morocco. Typically for like a lunch or breakfast, we're paying anything between like seven, eight euros per dish. So it's just amazing to finally come and get the Moroccan prices we expected. Alright guys, so we've got the omelette I ordered there. Uh, well, we both ordered the same thing, cheese omelette with some olives and um, came without the turkey that we asked for, but it doesn't matter because it's cheap. It's two euros. It's two euros, <laughs> so we are not moaning. We're going to enjoy the food and carry on our adventure throughout this uh, Medina here in Tangier. Alright guys, so that is our breakfast officially over now and we're going to carry on walking through these beautiful Medinas. And we'll just give you a little bit of information actually about this place. Uh, so we are in a place called Petit Soco. Uh, petit from French is small and so Zoco from Spanish is square, souk. So this is where the locals predominantly hang out. So we're looking forward to see what they're up to here. Usually they play games, play music. So yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, let's do this guys. I'm actually loving this area so far. It just has such a cool vibe. Plenty of tourists as well. We saw a lot of tour guides taking people around. So I'm sure it's got a lot of history ingrained in this place. All right guys, so my silver chain actually broke on this trip. As you can see, not wearing it now. And we come across another silver shop here in uh, Morocco. You would have seen an Esuera if you watched one of my videos there. I got this bracelet from uh, Morocco now. Now, all of our brother here, Isham. Yeah. Hey. He's, uh, he's hooking us up with this nice silver chain. chain. Proper nice. And this is my pendant. Basically, I had the same length, but it essentially just broke off. So he's hooking us up with a good deal here. He's giving it for 38 euros. 38, yeah. 38 euros. Let me know in the comments, guys. Is that a good deal for a long chain like this? Interested to know? Let's get it. Okay, guys, let's get the wife here a little gift here as well. Some nice earrings. 120, 12. 12, 12 euros then. 120. Yeah, I like it. Thank you to our brother here, Shaman. Make sure you come and check him out if you're in Tangier. See you, brother. Bye bye. Bye Alright, guys, we've got some purchases there. Let's see what else weird and wonderful we can get here in Tangier. So, guys, what to expect when you come to this market, as you would expect with any other market. Slightly different here is a lot of the, um, if you like, the shops or stalls, they're not actually stalls. They are proper, almost like walk-in shops and it's just has a super modern feel to it. So it's not as hustling and bustly as some of the other markets around Morocco, which is actually quite refreshing. So guys, this is the Grand Soccer, which is essentially the big square here in Tangier. Very, very vibrant, very nice and uh, great place to check out as you come out of the market stalls. So guys, this cinema that you can see behind me is a very old school cinema. Basically, uh, they show a glance of old school movies as well as new school. And right outside the front, you can also have some coffee and just chill out and enjoy this beautiful grand square here in Tangier. Such a lovely vibe here, just to relax, enjoy a cup of coffee and take it all in. All right, guys, we are heading into another entrance of the Medina. And actually, this bit here looks a little bit more old school than the other side, which had the kind of more new finishing with like the brown doors and the white uh, finished buildings. This one's a little bit more on the, uh, I'd say, older side, not as uh, refurbed as the other one. But here again, you've just got a lot of nice places selling some coffees and all types of things that you can imagine being in the market. They haven't missed out on anything. And something that I found interesting, guys, is that I just saw in that picture there that Tangier held the expo here in 2012. I wonder how that went. If any of you guys are watching this video were here during that time, let me know if that was a good event. Because I can only imagine how busy it must have been here in Tangier. Because when I was in Dubai and there was a Dubai expo, the whole city was packed. So I'm guessing this place was also a great vibe to be around. So guys, one thing that you'll realize in this city is that it has a massive influence of the Phoenician and Spanish vibes. As when, you can, when you look around all the balconies and all the designs, it all dates back from the Phoenician and Spanish times many years ago. And hello, we've got a nice little cat here. We've got so many cute cats around here. Reminds me a little bit of Turkey. 
Is van hun? Ja. Wow, this is gorgeous guys, we've officially walked into the Kasbahs which is essentially like uh, an area full of their gorgeous style street full of basically their local um, houses here sorry I'm a little bit out of breath so had to go up a hill but so so colourful, gorgeous white and blue then we've got white and yellow back there so so nice contrast of colours so guys just to give you an idea of what Kasbahs are essentially they're an area where is where people live here essentially in Morocco in these towns and I'm not gonna lie if I live somewhere like this it's literally like a little mini paradise that must be quite weird for the residents that live here because constantly they've got people like myself and other people that are traveling just videoing their houses <laughs> how lucky is that to have people come in here just filming your house because they look so beautiful just so gorgeous look at this door guys oh is it a hotel just stunning though wow beautiful guys with the Moroccan flag up there. Let me know in the comments guys if you live here in the Kasbah and I walk past your house or maybe past one of your friends houses <laughs> that you know that lives here. Well, guys it looks like we've come out on basically next to the Kasbah Museum. There's a spot like this where you can just come and overlook the city of Tangier and you've got like a fishing lot over there, like a fishing marina and then over there you've also got essentially the port where the ferries come all the way from Gibraltar because one thing uh, that you'll probably know or if you don't know about Tangier it used to be a gateway for Africa and Europe in the Phoenician times What's your thought of Tangier so far? Uh, yeah, I really like it. It's a nice town or city, shall I say. Yeah, it's literally where Europe meets North Africa. You really have that European feel with the Moroccan architecture around. It's quite surreal. I love it. So guys, the Casbah area is almost like a TARDIS. Everywhere you walk, you literally end up with cafes, restaurants, little shops and unique things all around so you probably want to give yourself a good I'd say a couple of hours of just exploring the Casbah area because it is very very unique and there are a lot of interesting things to check out what I'm loving about the streets here guys as you walk in you've got such cool artwork all across the walls such a funky city here in Tangier I love it look at this and this seems like a bit of an arty cafe itself actually Oh, nice. Looks quite nice and then even on the right here we've got even more artwork just a lovely very very funky vibrant city just uh, a must visit when you come to Morocco now we are walking through another part of the market this one here is definitely a little bit more hectic hello my friend hello, how are you friendly people here. here that I'm walking down now definitely seems a little bit more on the raw side, what guys doing it? Very nice, very nice fish. Fresh fish, kabaya. Very good. Nice to meet you, you my friend. Got some uh, fresh, fresh catch of the days over there. This is definitely the more older side that hasn't probably been restored as much as some of the other areas that we were in. But it's also more on food side, vegetables, meat, fish. Yeah, exactly. So we just stopped off here. See if we can get like a Very little jalaba here with our guy. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How What's are you? Up, bro? What's up, bro? What's your name? Hello, boys. How are you? All right, guys. Let's see if I can finally get my mum the uh, jalaba. Let's see what we can find. What's your name, brother? My name is Mohammed. Mohammed. My name is Yad. 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 Good night. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You from Morocco? Yeah, yeah, from Morocco, from Tangier. Tangier? Yeah. Any Spanish or just full of Moroccan? Uh, no, Spanish here, uh -huh. from Tangier here. You are just Moroccan? That's 100% Moroccan? Yeah. You told me 800, now 900. Uh, 800. No, 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 it's too much, too much. Thank you though. Too How much? I told you 500 max. No. All right, so we didn't manage to get that one. They're just charging too much money for this stuff because we did a cooking class over in, um, was it Marrakesh? Was it? Yeah, in Marrakesh. in Marrakesh. And our teacher actually told us not to pay any more than two to 400, right? Two to 300, but of course, yeah. the nicer it gets, the more expensive it gets. But I think 800 for that is way too much. Yeah, I think if I was with a local and they was 
initially asking for the price, he would have probably started around 600 and then I could have reduced it to about 400. Because guys, that's 40 euros end of the day and it's all made here in Morocco. So it shouldn't be that much, you know. Uh, so hopefully we, we can manage to find the one for my mum eventually on this trip. Guys, a quick stopover because the wifey has found a funky dress, which looks quite nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. And that's it on. Very nice. It's a bit too big for me. A bit big. But it looks quite funky though. You look like a proper local now. Yes, but I just would like it to be slightly smaller. <laughs> mm -hmm. Proper size. Very cool. So we managed to get that for 120 um, dirhams, which is. 12 euros, is that right? Yeah. yeah 12 right. euros. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you think that's a good deal. All right, guys, we're going to head over to uh, the Berber market and we have our brother here. Hi, taking how us. are you doing? What's your name, brother? Mohammed. All right, Mohammed has taken us to a Berber market where he says everything is hand craft, handmade. So, what do they make there, Mohammed? Tell us. The rocks in small souvenirs, leather bags. Anything worth buying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, we'll have to find out. Hello, salam alaikum. Salam. Wow, this is your shop? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, guys. This is such a small shop. How long have you been working here? Yeah. A long time here? Yeah. How many years? Ten years? Five years? Five. Five years? Five, yeah. Wow, guys, Mohammed has been tailoring in this such a small shop here for five years. Amazing. Thank you, Thank you brother. Thank you. Love diving deep into countries, cultures, and Mohammed there, you could tell he's such a genuine, nice guy, literally just smiling in his small shop. It's the smallest shop I've ever seen in the world. Like, literally. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? This doesn't look like a market, it looks like a shop. Smart yes. Right. Yes. This man work in upstairs. Make this work. Come, come to see nice view upstairs. Let's see if the view is going to be good. All right, guys. Let's check it. This is their version of a market here. Let's check it out. Uh, so it looks like we've got some loads of carpets here. Very, very nice. Back to the carpet heaven. Well, here we are. Mohammed has brought us to a lovely spot here. We've got a view over the whole city. Very nice. Good. This cafe was actually opened in 1927 and it was basically a place for a lot of writers and artists to come for a bit of inspiration. Yeah, I mean, from the outside, it's not looking something where you'd want to chill right now, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a bit old school, very yeah. old school. But it used to be the place for Tennessee Williams and the likes to meet up, have a coffee, have a cigar, chat about life and literature and just get inspired. Exactly. So. Now it's actually a place where, as you can see, a lot of the uh, older generation are just relaxing, having a cup of coffee and who knows, maybe getting inspired. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. Let's see if we get a bit of inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, our espresso macchiato has officially arrived. We're gonna have a sip, relax, take a break, and then take you over to somewhere very, very special here in Tangier. And guys, this is where you can start to see the Spanish influence. Here you've got the, uh, the old cannons here with the Spanish influence on top of the cannons from here, as you can see, very beautiful. Alright guys, now we are over at Hercules Cave. It's basically a very big major tourist attraction when you come to Morocco and Tangier. Um, and it's about 25 minutes away from the main city itself. The rumor goes that Hercules used to live here. Yeah, well, not a bad place to live when you've got incredible waves and views like that. Wow, look at these waves. Right, guys, we are walking into Hercules cave now and uh, loving the structure so far. Very interesting looking place. Yeah. Alright guys, we are heading inside the cave now. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of how much that was. There's 60 um, dirhams per person, which is basically 6 euros per person. 
Oh, we can feel that cave feeling as we're going in. You see why they call it Hercules Caves. Very, very interesting place. Has a cool aura about it. Oh, wow. Wow, guys, this place is crazy. Check that hole out there. This is a famous hole that you see um, when you look at anything to do with Tangier. They highly recommend to come to this bit just so you can get that Instagram shot just there. I don't blame them, it's sick. Look at the grand scale of this thing. It looks absolutely incredible. The way I think these things are like carved into the roof. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they're like almost like handprints. Like somebody's like with their hand dug into the roof. What do you think? Could you live here? No. <laughs> Imagine living here. Well, apparently no. Hercules did. Apparently. Quite an interesting place to check out, guys. Just probably just to come and uh, see those waves in that, uh, in the tunnel over there, or the, the cave hole. That was quite cool, actually. And not many tourists here, to be fair. So it's quite enjoyable. So it's just probably spent about 20 minutes in there, guys. I think it's worth it if you come and. Huh? Uh, what's that? What's this? Is it Spanish? No, English. English. It's okay, no worries. It's fine. Uh, okay, I don't understand. Thank you, thank you. Alright, guys, I think they were just basically trying to say that that pillar there was something um, interesting, but we didn't speak the same language, so we didn't know uh, what exactly that was. Alright, guys, we have come down. Be right next to the waves here. I don't think I've ever wow. been ever been this close to waves this big. This is quite an experience in itself. I was about to say it's probably not worth coming here um, just for the cave, but if you actually walk down, the, there's some steps, and you get to come to these little rock area here, rock formations, and you get to literally come right next to these waves here. It's so so cool. Wait long enough. Uh, let's say, well, it's about 5.15 now. You get to witness a beautiful sunset here as well. But right now it's a little bit misty, but overall it's still worth coming and just spending a good half an hour or however long you want, just sitting on these rocks and enjoying the waves, hitting against the rocks. And if you're really lucky, you might get a beautiful sunset just there as well. It's beautiful. It's just a nice spot to come and relax after spending all day in the markets. Yeah, you really need this, <laughs> you do. All right, guys, now we're heading to a very, very famous spot here in Tangier, which is called Cape Spartel. And I'll let you know very shortly why it's such a must-see place. Let's go. All right, guys, I bet you wasn't expecting to be here. So this spot here is where the Atlantic Ocean crosses with the Mediterranean Ocean. And you can see it exactly from this spot. Mediterranean Sea, crosses the ocean. Oh, Mediterranean Sea crosses the Atlantic Ocean. The very interesting thing about these, well, the, the oceans is when they actually come together, they don't mix together. And if you look very closely over there, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but you can see a darker shade of blue. And then at the front here, you've got the more Mediterranean lighter color. Alright guys, we are back over our apartment now and we're going to head over to one of our friend's restaurants. Apparently it's a really fancy place and uh, going to have some nice food here. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, off we go guys. Are you open? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Hi, how are you? Okay. I, I spoke to Oscar. I think he reserved a table for us. Yeah. But uh, it looks like okay. you have many. <laughs> yeah, very classy place. Looks like we have the whole spot to ourselves, which is great for the vlog. Hey 
guys, I must say I'm really, really impressed with the establishment because uh, one thing that we've lacked so far uh, on our trip is just coming to somewhere kind of funky and cool like this um, and the kind of almost like American jazzy style. I love what he's done with this place. Like the entrance was so unique. Like it's like you're walking into like a show, the way the curtain opens, it kind of leaves you a little bit, you know, confused and thinking, where am I actually going? Yeah, it leaves you, leaves you kind of intrigued. And when you walk in, you walk into this incredible looking place, almost feeling like I'm in like a New York jazz type of vibe with kind of a book books uh, on the side we've got some funky paintings like loving it we've got like a cool funky bar over there they've got the lights going yeah and apparently they do uh, some music shows here as well right uh, yes so we're not sure if we're gonna get the show tonight but we'll wait and find out all right guys and we have got the one and only Marwan tonight he's gonna be looking after us and uh, make sure you come and say hello to him if you come to Oski's <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, bro. Yeah. Alright, guys, our mains have officially arrived and we've only ordered mains. So, we've got some duck breast here with some beetroot and some carrot puree, which is underneath, and it just looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to dive in and see what it tastes like. Alright, guys, and we've also got the one and only Oscar, which is actually the proud owner of this beautiful establishment. Hello, guys, welcome at Oski. This is yours, I used to say. <laughs> he's, got a, uh, he's got a very inspiring story. He's been in uh, Tangier for 22 years. 22 years. 22 years. He's basically a local now, and he says he absolutely loves it here. So, if you can hear someone like Oscar saying it, then you have to visit this place because if he can be here for that long, that means there's something special about this city. Oh, and I dropped the <laughs> mic. <laughs> And as they say guys, it doesn't matter how much you eat, there is always room for dessert. So guys, we've ordered some uh, profiteroles and these look very fancy. We've got some extra chocolate and we've got the one and only my favourite chocolate fondant. Look at that. And I'm not going to lie guys, it actually took a while to arrive. That means it's fresh. Let's see if the chocolate is pouring out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This has also got uh, the famous Moroccan twist. It's got this thing that's called amlou, which is uh, almond spread with peanut butter. And... No, it's similar to peanut butter, but actually made of almonds rather than peanuts. Yeah. Let's give it a taste, guys. Let's see what it tastes like. The moment of truth. Wow. Mm. I'm not going to lie. I'm the best chocolate fondant I've ever had. Do you want any chocolate here? Maybe. That was good. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. This is Moroccan Johnny Depp, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guys, when you come to Oski's, come and ask for the Moroccan Johnny Depp. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. <laughs> when you guys come here, one thing I will say, it's got that exclusive vibe and um, I think that's what Oscar was saying, this is that type of place where when you come here, it's got that family type of feel with the um, exclusivity, so it's really, really unique and if that's something that you're looking for, or even if it's not, I think you should still come and experience it. But one thing I will say is probably come here around 9.30 to 10 p.m. because that's when it really livens up and things here apparently get very, very lively, live music, partying and all sorts. So um, it's a it's a must 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 visit when you come to Tangier in Morocco. All right, guys, and I think this is a great place to end the first impressions of this incredible city of Tangier. So, guys, if you enjoyed the whole video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and we will see you on the next episode here in Morocco. Peace out and good night.